On this episode of Home Mechanic, the minivan and the XP are getting oil changes. But first, I gotta replace some uh, pesky shocks and struts on the minivan. So we took out the cowling and the wipers. Could not do these right here. These little bolts on top for the struts. Jack it up. Oh, safety first. And jack the back up. Get this heavy beast off the ground. And then we're gonna take a few lug nuts off here. Do a little tap. Sometimes it's hard to come off. And then the brake line's gonna be removed in the ABS sensor cable. I'm gonna do these big old bolts right here. Give that a little tap. Mmm, that came out nice. Now we're gonna take these little top bolts off the uh, top of the strut. And then editing makes this look so easy. These are such a pain to get out. Don't let it fool you. All right, and cut that one out. Now the new one is going in brand new. I zoomed in a little bit on this video because I'm a little self-conscious about my ankles. Plus I'm wearing Crocs. I wouldn't want to promote unsafe home mechanic practices. So now we're gonna put these bolts back on. Get them snugged up. If you ever are looking for tutorials on car stuff, so check out TRQ. They make great parts for cars and they have really good videos on how to install all of them. Oh, here we go. Oil change. Oh yeah. That smells like dinosaurs. Not really, but that's what I like to think every time I open it. Take a big breath. Big deep breath. Mmm, dinosaurs. Now we're gonna go over here to the back. The back ones are always easier. I'm gonna take these old bolts off right here. Got the big one on the bottom. Note which way the washer's facing so it goes on the right way. And all right, there we go. Got that one off. That was pretty easy. And we're just gonna tap, 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 tap. Work our little bottom of our shock off there. T -t 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 tap, 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 tap. And oh, there it goes. It's off. Oh, and here's the new one there. What do you know, TRQ? Daddy? You'll have to excuse my son. He's clearly unaware I'm filming a very important YouTube video. Anyway, moving on. Let's go ahead and put these nuts on the bottom back on with the washer facing the right way. And just snug that up right there. Okay, now we're gonna go over here and do these top ones. Now, I'm not really showing you the, the whole thing, but make sure you torque them to the right spec. That's very important. All right, got all the wheels back on and rotated. Just gonna hand thread these lug nuts. Get those there. Then we're gonna snug them up. I got tired of recording everything, so I didn't really show you this, but I torqued these to the right spec as well. And now we're gonna lower this back down to the ground slightly. Just so I can get it torqued up. But I didn't film that part. And hey, look at that, all done. Backing it out. Oil change, tire rotation, shocks. Took like half the day. Oh, what do we have here? A little 2005 Scion XP. And we're just gonna make sure we get this one jacked up. Kit jack stands. It saves it. Well, my son's back. I think he's aware now that I'm making a video. Anyway, moving on, we're gonna put some uh, kit. Oh, yeah, we're gonna change the oil on the XPA tower. Water tower. What's happening? Can you hit it? All right, let's loosen these up. Bloody da! I sound insane. And we're gonna get the wheels off here because we've got to rotate those. And we're we'll get this moved around. Do that up. Here's a little anti seize I'm gonna throw on to the. the look, not this. Sure. I don't know what's going on here. But anyway, anti seize right here so your nuts don't get stuck. Grain silo. He keeps saying grain silos. I don't know what's in it. But yeah, ha, ha, ha. My four year old thinks it's funny to yell random things while I'm recording these videos. Apologies, folks. Or not apologies. Maybe you like that sort of thing. 
And here's some fresh oil. Cook, 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 Some thirsty little engine. And now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and lower this down a little bit. And we're gonna get these wheels torqued to the right spec. And... Ow, I really, what am I doing here? This is like such a long video. I have to cut this part out. Ah, here we go. Let's torque these up. And got that there. We're gonna lower this one down the ground we're gonna get this one torqued up as well give a little ratchety clickety clicky sound and we're good there that about wraps this one up oh yeah very nice look at that clean 20 year old engine bay oh 